Bridges Theorem Assignment 3. Alright, the example is use Rauch's theorem to show that the equation z d power 5 plus 15z plus 1 has one root in the disk mod z less than 3 by 2 and four roots in the analysis mod z line between 3 by 2 and 2. Now here we have to consider the two circles. Look at the diagram. The inner circle is of having the radius 3 by 2 and the outer circle is having the radius 2. So I need to got a one root in the inner circle and rest of the four roots in the analysis. Now what is the analysis? Analysis is the region between the circles. That means this green colored portion, this is your analysis. So I need four roots here and one root in the circle C1. One root inside the circle C1 and remaining four roots in the green colored portion that is your analysis. So we have to consider the first circle that is the inner circle C1 mod Z equal to 3 by 2. Alright, so according to the given condition I need to choose my FZ. So what is fz is equal to? Yes, it is 15z. Why? Because I need to find one root inside the circle c1 and here the power of z is 1. That means it is having one root. Alright? And the remaining rest of the part is your gz. That is z the power 5 plus 1. Now, I have to uh, first check whether mod of gz is less than mod of fz or not. Because then only I can apply the Rauch's theorem further. So for that I am considering on circle C1 mod Z equal to 3 by 2. Let's check first what is mod of FZ. This is mod of 15Z which is equal to 15 mod of Z which is equal to. Put the value of mod Z here which is 3 by 2. And we get finally this is equal to. Uh, I guess this is, yes, 45 by 2. Then I need to find mod of gz, which is equal to mod of z the power 5 plus 1, which is equal to mod of z the power 5, sorry, this is less than equal to mod of z the power 5 plus 1. Put the value over here, you will get 8 plus 19 over 32. And yes, it is strictly less than 45 by 2, which is your FZ. Alright, you just solve and calculate this. You will get this result. So thus mod of GZ is strictly less than mod of FZ on C1. Now since FZ and GZ are analytic inside and on the circle C1 with mod of GZ strictly less than mod of fz on c1. So therefore by Rauch's theorem, fz plus gz has the same number of zeros as fz inside c1, right? But fz equal to 15z, it has one zero inside c1. So therefore, fz plus gz also has one zero inside c1. Now let's check this fz plus gz on c1, whether there is any root on c1 or not. For that we need to check the value of fz plus gz. Take the mod, this is equal to mod of z the power 5 plus 15z plus 1. Now I am using whenever you calculate mod of fz plus gz, keep in mind you have to remember the sign greater than equal to. You have to open like this, alright. Alright, so this is 15 mod z minus mod z the power 5 minus 1. I have used the identity mod of a plus b is greater than or equal to mod a minus mod b. All the signs are positive. You can take any of the term first. Right, so uh, this is equal to 15. Put the value of mod z over here which is obviously 3 by 2 on the circle c1. Then this is 3 by 2 the power 5 minus 1, right? 
Finally, this value comes out to be 445 over 32. So obviously, this value is greater than or equal to mod of fz plus gz is greater than or equal to 445 over 32 on c1. That means it has no root on c1. For all the values of z, the value of fz plus gz comes out to be either greater than 445 by 32 or it is equal to 445 by 32 but not equal to 0. So there is no 0 on c1. So therefore fz plus gz has no 0 on c1. Right? Now I am considering the second circle that is mod z is equal to 2 and I need uh, all the 5 roots inside the circle c2. Provided, uh, provided uh, among those five, four roots should lie in the annulus, right? So overall, C2 circle is having five roots, right? And from those five roots, four roots lie in the annulus and one root is inside C1. So what is my FZ to be here? Yes, I need to have five roots inside C2, yes. This will be z the power 5. Very good. And the remaining gz is 15z plus 1. Very good. Again, I need to check whether mod of gz is strictly less than mod of fz or not. So let's check. This is equal to mod of 15z plus 1 on circle C2 less than equal to 15 mod z plus 1 which is equal to, if you put here the value 15, 2 plus 1, so this is equal to 31, which is strictly less than, yes, what is your fz? z the power 5, and what is z here? 2, so this will be 2 the power 5. Is 31 is strictly less than 2 the power 5? Very true, yes, because 2 the power 5 is 32, so this is equal to nothing but your mod of fz. So mod of gz is strictly less than mod of fz on c2. So since fz and gz being polynomial are analytic inside and on the circle c2 with mod of gz strictly less than mod of fz on c2. So by Rauch's theorem, fz and gz has the same number of zeros as fz inside circle c2. But we have taken fz to be equal to z the power 5 and has all five zeros inside C to the bigger circle. Obviously, the bigger circle will having all the five roots. So, Fz plus Gz is also having all the five zeros inside C2. But, we have proved Fz plus Gz has one root inside C1. So, remaining four roots lie, should lie inside the analysis or must lie inside the analysis mod z between lying between 3 by 2 and 2 right so this is how we solve such kinds of examples uh, just go through these examples here uh, the videos the set of the videos for the Rauch's theorem is over now uh, next time we will be doing singularities and residues so get ready for that thank you for watching this video goodbye uh, god bless you goodbye